pain. Oh, let me, let me, I got, I got to do this thing. I actually know that'll crash the, the emulator. I tried that before, so I got to turn desktop audio on. Oh yeah, that's way too loud. Hang on, I'll get it. Little bit quieter. A little bit more. That should probably be good. Let me see. Let me let me get it on the Twitch. Get it on the Twitch and I'll get find out. Twitch. Get it on the Twitch and I'll find out. Okay, testing, testing. Okay, testing, testing. Okay, might be too quiet now. Okay, might be too quiet now. Okay, might be Okay, testing. Oh, no, that's the wrong window. Okay, testing. testing. Oh, no, that's the wrong window. Okay. Testing. Oh, no, that's the wrong window. Testing. 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 That'll work. <laughs> That'll work. I might, I don't know, I might turn up just a tiny bit, but that, that is about I might, it. I don't know, I might turn up just a tiny bit, but that, that is about I might, it. I don't know. Okay, let's uh get the let's get the clone Dustins okay, out of here. Uh, get the, let's get the Okay, so Commander the Keen. I'm very keen on the Keen. Oh, it looks like my resolution has shrunk. So I must move the window. Yeah, that that's kind of why I didn't bother making a layout for this or anything because the this emulator changes resolutions and I don't know. I don't know, man. Commander Keen marooned on Mars. Id Software, we're in demand. I gotta turn my fan off. I'm just so out of it. Shareware. Yes, you could get Commander Keen 1 for free, but not 2 and 3. Previews. What kind of previews we got? Uh, is that like preview of the game? No, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, that's preview of the other two. Yeah, yeah. Ordering info. About id. Okay, story. Billy Blaze, eight-year-old genius working diligently in his backyard clubhouse, has created an interstellar starship from old soup cans, rubber cement, and plastic tubing. While his folks are out on the town and the babysitter has fallen asleep, Billy travels into his backyard workshop, dons his brother's football helmet, and transforms into Commander Keen, Defender of Earth. In his ship, the Bean with Bacon Mega Rocket, Keen dispenses galactic justice with an iron hand. Episode 1, Marooned on Mars. In this very episode, aliens from the planet Vorticon, uh, 6, find out about the 8-year-old genius and plan his destruction. While Keen is out exploring the mountains of Mars, the Vorticons steal vital parts of his ship and take them to distant Martian cities. Can Keen recover all the pieces of his ships and repel the Vorticon invasion? Will he get to make it back before his parents get home? Stay tuned. What the Vorticons have stolen. The Bean with Bacon Mega Rocket was constructed from objects around the house that you have modified into starship parts. Joystick from your brother's video game, manual flight control, car battery from your mom's car, electrical systems power, vacuum cleaner from the kitchen heavily modified, ion propulsion unit with carpet height adjustment, Everclear from your dad's liquor cabinet, fuel. The Vorticons have taken these pieces to the far reaches of Mars and are guarding them. You must find out, you must find the members of the Vorticon outpost and 
wrest the parts back from their wicked claws hands information on information on mars unbeknownst to nasa when the viking lander settled to the surface of mars it caused a major political upheaval viking actually landed on the despotic martian king the yorps the extremely friendly one-eyed martians were free from enslavement and the gargs the vicious and aggressive martians were angry the martians created robots for menial work and guard duties beware of the tank-like guard robots they are very good at what they do martians have been visiting earth and ufos for decades why they come to earth for one reason they want our toys Hula hoops and skateboards are holy objects to them. Who knows? You might find some toys useful. There are signs everywhere. You haven't been able to decipher them yet. The task begins. The task is before you, or the adventure begins. The task is before you. Go get them, Commander Keen. And don't miss episodes two and three of the Invasion of the Vorticons trilogy. Episode two and, and three. You know, we don't need to read about those just yet. So let's go. Yeah, it's our ship. I don't know, that looks a little loud. I'm not sure if that's too loud or not. Oh, I gotta rebind the controls. I mean, can you rebind? No, you can't rebind in this one. Uh, hold on a minute then. I must make unexpected, <laughs> unexpected adjustments. No, no, just get in there. I'm I'll I'll turn it down just a, a little bit. Like like half a decibel. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, so Commander Keen. They brought they brought him back recently. I don't like it. <laughs> yes, it, it does look like a, a game maker example game. So you play as this little guy. Billy Blaze, Commander Keen. Um, I'm I'm not the biggest fan of the first three Keen games. Like, I mean, they're all right, but I mean, nothing too special in my eyes. Maybe uh, maybe they were better in like retrospect, but I think around the fourth game is where the series really starts getting good, though. So if you're wondering, like, what's Dustin on about with this series? I don't get it. It gets better. It gets better. But you know me. I like to. I like to go from the beginning. Start out where everything began. So let's see. Okay, space. Oh no, it's space that does this. I need, so I need to rebind the thing to space. I'm sorry. Uh, DOS games are confusing. But yeah, we can get some information here. Score gives you extra lives, so we're going to want to collect doodads whenever possible. They give you the ability to rebind the controls in the later game. See, like, oh, game audio. I, I can't think about why that would be the case. I think my sister is causing a ruckus. It, it might be like the buffer. Here, let me try this. I don't know if that would have remedied anything.
Like, I lowered the sound buffer. I don't think it should logically be- well, let me- let me do it. Let me see. Let me check something in OBS real quick, just before I become embarrassed. No, sync offset all is zero, so it would have to be something else. Oh, wait, wait. Before I discount it entirely, let me check filters. Nope, no filters. Ooh, don't touch that, King. Do not touch that. Okay, so what what's what's in here? What's going on in this tent area? You hear in your mind. It is too bad you cannot read standard galactic alphabet, human. And I I need to rebind. Uh, <laughs> I need to rebind. Enter because I didn't think it would be used again. I'll just I'll rebind space to the. Uh, X button. I'm using joy to key. And yes, this is a very, uh... Oh, no, don't quit. Okay, so... It's not... It, it is not letting me shoot, I think. Which is a problem. I don't know why joy to key does not want to let me, like, use... Alt. Like, I, I, I don't know why that would be the case. Like, it, it should. It should be letting me use the Alt button. Maybe I should use right Alt. No? No, actually, uh, PCM is not letting me use it either. Which is weird. Oh no, it's like you press, you press both at the same time, like. Okay, that, that seems like it worked. I, I may have just wasted some ammunition, but. Let's hope, let's hope I'll be okay. You should be able to like... You should be able to like... Save. Oh yeah, and I got the pogo stick, which is a big keen staple. Cause you can do like this. You can bounce. No, I don't want to go out the door. I want to. There's, there's secrets here. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. God, all my, all my ammo is gone. <laughs> everything, everything is awful. Maybe I should, uh, save my game. <laughs> but it, it makes me lose my score, I think, unless I'm misunderstanding. No, wait. Wait a minute. Well, where do I save, then? Something's, something's screwy. Something's big, big screwy. Because, he, so yeah, see, that says, like, oh, you want to go to... The DOS title? Okay, we're starting over. We didn't get that far. We're gonna we're gonna try <laughs> we're gonna try again. This is the real this is the real playthrough. Besides sound effects, this game is very quiet. They didn't have any music. 
no music was had on this day. Er, er. Yeah, like I said, I mean, these these are all right, but I, I feel like Keen 4 is where it ends up getting a lot better. <laughs> Luckily, uh, the internet tells me this game is not too long, so probably like two streams tops unless I keep running into weird technical problems. Yeah, the problem with Keen's jumping in the first few games is that there's, like, a delay before he actually jumps. Like, he'll, he'll jump, he'll, like, build up to jump, and then he'll jump. Which makes jumping in this game feel, like, very sticky. As opposed to, like, the later games where Keen will, uh, you know, just kind of, he'd he jump like Mario would at an instant at my beck and call. This Keen is a rebel. He doesn't understand. He doesn't understand life. So these are the friendly guys. They, they won't hurt Keen directly, but they can push him into things that will hurt him. So I guess they're kind of a neutral force. This is, so let's go through the area where you get mocked by an alien. Okay, so it's like, it's not that. And it's not that either. So I'm trying to remember, is it S? F, wait, let me see. It might be like one of the function keys. Commander. Keen one save. How 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 do you save game? Okay, Keen one to three. You press F five while you're in the map. Okay. All right. That, I had a feeling. See, I'm being screwed up again by uh, Keen four. Where? Uh, hang on. This is, I don't want my stream running in the background. I don't. I don't know if it was doing stuff. Oh god, this isn't going good so far. Just, just get mocked by the alien. Okay, so F5, 1. Okay, saved. Game has been saved. Actually, we should probably save right here instead. Overwrite it? Yes. Okay. Let's get the pogo stick. Yeah, you got, these are like old, old, like, PC beep. PC beep noises. Okay, now can I make it through here without falling in the fire? Through the fire and flames? Okay, so here, here's a nasty boy. That's what you want to use your, your gun for. You got a teddy bear. Don't have enough for a spare keen yet. Okay. So, more places yet to go. Okay, so let's let's explore here. That was a really stupid death. So, but it does demonstrate what I was talking about, about how the nice guys can still get you into trouble. So you don't want to treat them too lightly. Lest Keen fall to his death in the spike pit and turn into like a Goomba. For lack of a better term, id Software was very, uh, 
was very fruity about their game lore, weren't they? I mean, even in Doom, there's there's some funkiness. Um, I don't know if the pogo stick would protect me against these guys. And I'm honestly scared to find out. I assume I'll find out by accident down the line. Yeah, so pogo stick is good to have. You know, speaking of which, is there a Commander Keen randomizer? I honestly don't know, and I, I feel like the answer is no, there isn't. And that would shock me, honestly. Oh, one of them security robots that they were talking about. Oh, no, I don't want to go up here. Yeah, jump. like I said, jumping's a little awkward because of the delay. I think that that's like a Mario 3 music box. Like it puts the enemies to sleep or something. Uh, maybe I'm stupid, I don't know. Oh, those guys. Those are bad guys right there, I think. I think those are the aforementioned Vorticons. There's my mom's car battery, though. So let's, uh, try... Dang. Is, does this guy even... Yeah, okay. So you can stun that guy. It just takes, like, a ton of ammo. Was it a wise idea to use it there? Possibly not. Got an extra keen, though. I, I have no idea how much these po how much points every how much how many points everything is worth. But you know, points are points. Okay, there's the red key card. Okay, more ammo for my gun. My stun gun, because cause Keen is not a villain. He does not kill people. He merely stuns them with his stun ray. So, so, get, so get any ideas that this Keen fellow is a miscreant. Get that out of your head. <laughs> Jumping is so weird. So, if I mean, if King has to, he could blink him to death, but... Okay. Big lad. Yeah, they they went really heavy on the sound effects because they didn't really have music to give you. So they were just like, here, have a ton of sound effects. Oh, did I just fire? You bet I did. Yeah, so in the first three King games, firing your gun is mapped to... Uh, Jump, pressing jump and pogo at the same time. I could probably get through here without shooting him, though. Yeah, so... So basically, if you press jump and pogo at the same time, you're going to shoot your gun. But the later King games change this to its own separate button. But it's just something I have to deal with for a little while. Okay, so now to where the Vorticon was. I will say the pogo is, is a very satisfying mechanic, though. 
Is it, it, it might be like slightly overpowered, but it is satisfying. So is he still... Oh, he's just gone. He's just... He, he's... He's gone. Okay, so... Save our game yet again. Go in here. The slant. Okay, so there's a lot of like lollipops over there. I don't want to get as many of those. I hate my life. Was that an overly verbose saving information message? Yes, it, it was. It's basically like, okay, well, what, sli what slot do you want to save to? And I choose one. It's like, there's already a save there. You sure? And I'm like, yeah. And it's like, all right, so now that you've saved, you can uh, reload it later. And I'm like, all right. You can stomp on these guys, though, and not, like, waste your bullets like I've been doing constantly. Oh, no, wait, these are, like, that's not, like, a lullaby, it's, like, a key card. That's one of the key cards. I, I thought that was a music note on it. So, I mean, this, pl this place looks like it's pretty safe so far. But you know, looks can be deceiving when Vorticons are involved. I have a feeling we're gonna walk into danger over here, though. Okay, there's a gun. There's a gun up there, which bodes well for me being correct, but not well for my safety. Okay, so there's that gentleman down there. Who, you know, spins his eyes around. And that's how you know. And I'm just gonna use one. I was debating trying to get through without using one. But I opted not to do that. I opted that that was a bad idea. Is that gentleman stompable or do you have to shoot him? Frankly, I'm not sure. And I'm a little afraid to find out. Probably should have tried when there was one like closer to the start of the level, but I, I just I don't want to lose a life to him. But like I said though, I'm sure we'll find out eventually. There's a Vorticon up there. Oh, oh. These guys are like the Hammer Brothers of this game. They're way more dangerous than every other enemy. They jump a lot, Vari variable jump height, but I don't know, personally, I think it's worth it. I don't want to go for those books up there. <laughs> I don't want to go for those. Yeah, so. Go this way, Keen. Okay, there's a little hut. Little hut. What are we gonna find in the little hut? I, I think the little huts are just like tiny platforming challenges. Oh! Well, that's not good. Not to mention a problem with this is that fr game's frame rate could be better. It's a little choppy, but I mean, a lot of old DOS games were. I mean, that's what you get when you, when you don't have that much memory, so. The teleporter in the ice will send you to the dark side of Mars. Might be worth remembering that. Okay, so I have a feeling like this is a trap. Yeah, there's a, there's a pit there. Okay, so I got my keen back. Got my life. I, I find it, I always find it funny when you refer to an extra life as like 
the plural of whatever character you're playing as. Like, oh, I got an extra Mario. I got a free man. You know, it really, it really lays credence to what we were discussing during Crash Bandicoot. That Crash is actually a different Bandicoot every single time you die. Crash is never the same, the same person twice. I feel like life insurance would be a game mechanic in a roguelike of some sort. Like, you die, and then your successor gets free money. I don't like some of these jumps. These jumps make me feel... They give me stomach aches! A lot of just, like, you know, free points, though. Three points I will I will accept. The more keens the better. Okay, I, I feel like them them things probably probably don't want to touch those. Okay, so Keen can't do the Mario walk over a pit. Over a one tile wide gap. He just uh he can't do that. I'm gonna assume that the Pepsis are worth much money, much point. How many points we got? Like about 68,000? Oh, these, this is a jump. Can I like look down? Not really. You know, actually, now that I'm looking at them, you might be able to stomp those guys. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just, I'm afraid to try, though. Those lollipops do not seem worth it to me. No, please get smushed. Oh, big robot, big robot. I think that one shoots lasers. The heck is that? I don't know what this, I don't know what this is. Ooh, it's the tunnel of death. Keen does not like the tunnel of death. I'm afraid, I'm afraid of death. Dying makes me uncomfortable. No! I'm, I'm very uncomfortable now. I should, I should probably, like, save in different locations going forward. Oh, you know, they might be, they might be ping pong paddles because, you know, they mentioned toys, but, but I mean, there's pizza and Pepsi, so, God, I don't know. Commander Keen, like, like, like Mario collects coins, Sonic collects rings, Crash collects fruit. Commander Keen, though, Commander Keen collects everything. There is nothing that is not worth collecting to this boy. He will collect it, and you will not stop him. These, these lollipops definitely, like, spell something out. They're, they definitely spell something. Well, the the upside to dying is that I can get free ammo. Like, I can get 16 ammunition. So that's good. And I enjoy that when I have, like, many ammunitions. Because, uh... 
Kane's pretty much a sitting duck without it. He's, he's not exactly strong. He's like an eight-year-old boy. Oh, I, I did that again. He's an eight-year-old boy. He's, he's not exactly the picture of muscle-bound fitness. Is that a platform? And Will that hurt me? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, those guys can charge at you. I'm glad to know that now. I, I was not aware of that prior to this point. But now we know. Now, I think what's funny is that it's actually possible, I think, to, like, initiate a jump and then slide off the platform and have Keen jump in midair. It's tricky, but I think it's doable. I might be entirely mistaken, but I think that's a thing you can do. Yeah, this this game could use some better conveyance of what I'm looking at, because, like, looking at something and being like, I don't know, guys, you think that's gonna hurt me? You think that'll kill the king? It's, I don't know, it's not a great feeling. Okay, those are a platform at least from the top. I guess that's your, like, deterrent from just going up this way or something. Okay, there's like a bear up, up there. Looks kind of tricky to get, though. Okay, just gonna take that guy right out. Okay, I, I need to know if you can jump on this guy. Okay, you cannot. But now, now we know. Now we can go forth with newfound knowledge. That that guy... Not, uh, particularly jumpable. I hate I had to lose a life to learn that, but... What can you do? I'm sorry, I just kind of compulsively check check my inventory. Because I want to know how close I am to a free keen. There's no heads up display. Like, how much stuff do you got? Who knows? Only God. God! Speaking of God! Only God can tell you. But like I said, if nothing else, I have been able to use this as an opportunity to farm ammunition. Which will be useful in the future. We're getting close to another keen. Okay, so that does that does hurt you. I was I was correct on that front. We're just we're learning so much today. We we got all the facts. We know. We know the true form of history. Gonna have to hoard some points in order to uh to make Keen not get a game over. I mean I'm saving before every level, so I'm not too afraid. That being said, not having to like reload my save every time I die would be would be preferable to, you know, having to do that. So it's like every twenty thousand points basically. I don't know if it ever like exponentially increases, but if it ha if it does, then I don't think it has so far. I thought that was the sound of me dying, and I was very afraid and very confused, but I'm fine. Oh, no, please don't eat my jump. 
You're nice lads. You're you're good boys, but please don't eat my jump. Please, please do not charge me. You're not a good boy. You're a very bad boy. So I'm uh, I'm willing to assume that the teddy bear is worth like a ton of points. Okay, so one hundred thousand seven hundred. Yeah, so that's worth a good, like, 5,000 points. So, teddy bear, yeah. 5,000, that's, that's like one-fourth of the way to an extra life. Okay, so, I'm guessing this is the dark side. Let's check out the smaller areas, perhaps. Oh, we got ice physics. Commander Keen on ice. And they behave very strangely. It's like... I don't know how to describe it. Just gonna play it safe and, and take both of those guys out. Gonna play it safe. Gonna play it cool. Gonna play it pizza. I don't like that guy. Okay, now where did I need this key card? Somewhere down here. Yeah, there, there we go. Oh, but we ain't we ain't out yet. Okay, so book. How much is book worth? So it's so it's like one hundred and nine thousand. So that's that's worth like a good one thousand. I mean, I don't know for free for for free points. You know, it's it's worth it. Like like when it's just sitting right here and there's nothing in particular guarding it. Yeah. See these words in your head. You will need a ray gun in the end, but not to shoot the Vorticon. Noted. Okay, what's going on here? This is some this is some wacky geometry. You see, they taunt you with the one tile wide openings, but Commander Keen cannot duck. He cannot duck. You know, the key was honestly entirely pointless to this whole venture. I, I didn't honestly need the key. The, geom the geometry of the level itself was keeping me. I better save. <laughs> Just in case. The geometry of the level itself was doing a pretty good job of keeping me from going over there. I don't think we really needed the key card to just drive the point home. It's not even like you can miss it either. I mean, you can miss it, but it's not like you have to go all the way back around. You just, you just gotta jump for it. Okay, I, I thought it was worth a shot. Okay, so I need to... God, that's a that's a jump. Let's uh, come back here afterwards. What else we got? What else is going on? Dang. I'm guessing this is the final area. So let's let's go to the right here. Yeah, don't need to mess with that guy. Why why would you go over there? <laughs> that block is a, that block is entirely pointless. This isn't level design. This is anarchy. 
free bear though. Close to an extra keen. I don't like how low. I don't like how low on keens I am. Oh, this statue is of one of the large boys. You hear in your mind, GARG! Now, which one did I go in? This one? So let's try this one. Okay, so a lot of robots. I don't think the robots can fall off ledges. I don't know if that's safe. I don't know if that's safe of me to assume, but I haven't seen them do it so far. So I guess this is just the point tower. Uh, gotta be careful. Oh, but you have to get back down out of the point tower. That's the tricky bit. Well, I mean, eventually the the tiny aliens will just will just walk off the edge, I guess. How we doing? On team ownership. Okay, like like see that guy? He just he just walked right off. I didn't see him. He didn't load in. Oh, like you guys are kind of annoying. Not like overtly dangerous, but kind of annoying. I'm trying to help you guys. I think. <laughs> so just let me do my job, please. A Yorpus whisper says, Look for dark hidden bricks. You can see not but their upper left corner. Yes, I know. I've been there. I've had this party before. Okay, let's, let's go up to... This like super base. No, it's over here. The Crystal City. The Crystal Coconut. Okay, what's what's over here? Pizza. Hmm, I could probably use it. Okay, so can you stun the- oh, 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 oh. <sighs> I- I don't think the robots are killable. I think if you want that pizza, you just have to book it. Oh, hey, look, it's a Yorp snowman. Yeah, yeah, just gotta book it. <laughs> Okay, zero, zero counts as a life. That's good to know. Okay, I wasn't sure if this was one of those games that had, like, falling icicles. Oh, are we doing that? That's not obnoxious. I don't think the book is overly worth it. What? What, was it because I touched the, the icicle? I touched the icicle? Was that it? <laughs> okay, we're gonna reload. But I still get my points, so I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand the purpose. I don't understand the question. Can I like, uh, 
pogo up here. Yep, sure can. And just pogo strip. So okay, I guess I guess don't freaking don't freaking touch the the icicles. They don't fall on you, but they still hurt. I always feel like those books said can't. Like like K-A-N-T. What is it that I can't do? I don't know. Or maybe it's a man named Can't, and that's his autobiography. I mean, they might say that, but can anybody tell me what can't means? Like when spelled with a K? Can anybody tell me what that means? Okay, need some need some peps. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to go up here, I don't know. Well, I gotta get the key card at least. It's gonna drop me into a pit, I know it. <laughs> it it didn't drop me into a pit, I dropped me into a pit. The, the sweet, sweet, and delicious irony. Supposedly, Kant was a philosopher. Thank you. Thank you for this information. Okay. I just hate everything about this area. I'm gonna assume the cannons kill me. I think that that feels like a safe bet compared to like say jumping on the aliens. So it's like one of those, Keen almost controls like one of those, you know, sliding block puzzles when he's on ice. Like it's not just hard to stop him, it might be legitimately impossible. Okay. False, false floor. You got me. I have been thoroughly bamboozled. been smeckledorfed. Honestly, I don't even doubt that <laughs> that I id software would put like some random philosopher's book into uh, their game about an eight-year-old I mean, granted, he is, like, supposed to be a very intelligent eight-year-old. I want to see if you can stun these guys. Oh. I'll try once more. Nah. It doesn't feel like you can stun them. If you can, then I feel like it costs far more... Far more resources than I'm willing to expend. I mean, yeah, I guess King's supposed to be, like, a super genius kid. He's, like, you know, the original Jimmy Neutron boy genius, so. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess he can collect philosopher books, sure, whatever. Whatever id software, like, decades ago developers, you can make whatever you want. I'm not here to judge you. Yeah, so like, whenever Keen's on ice, he basically slides in one direction indefinitely. Oh, that's cool. 
That is radical. Nope, don't, do not start new game. Do not make me enter a high score either, because you and I both know I did nothing. Yeah, I mean, the fact that you can save before the levels, you know, diffuses some of the tension. But honestly, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I am co I'm cool with diffusing the tension. Keen, the later Keen games are going to be a little weird because they let you save like mid-level and diffuse the tension even farther. So I don't know how I'm going to go about handling that. Save states, essentially. I mean, maybe I'll just do it like I'm doing this game and, you know, make a house rule to only save, like, in between levels and not in a level, but but then again, I don't even know, because the game gives you the option to do it. <laughs> like, this isn't, like, me inserting some cheating software. This isn't, like, a re-release. It's, like, the, the original game let you save state. <laughs> So I don't even know. Dang it! I don't even know what to think. DOS games are weird, dude. They are weird. I can't. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's the direction I have decided is not worth traveling in. Okay, so you probably want to, like, lure the Vorticon over here. I don't even know if you... I don't even know if you can do- okay, so... Yeah, so what I'm determining is this ice on the left here makes Keen just walk indefinitely. Whereas you can turn him around on the other one. So anyway, I started blasting. What do you mean that, that didn't all hit him? Okay. Whatever. Whatever, get me out of here. I don't have the key card. Oh well, I guess I'm coming back. Um, can I? Can I come back? Have I? Have I literally soft locked the level? Oh no! Wait, I have a pogo stick. Never mind. Never mind. Pogo. Dang it! Yeah, like I said, looking forward to the later Keen games where you can uh have shoot on a separate button. Okay, there's the key card. You know what, I should probably like try to get some extra lives at least. Yeah, th this sound ain't obnoxious. I mean, don't be too terrified, because like I said, I can just reload the save. So it's not like the entire stream went down the toity. Uh. I was petrified. Thought my entire stream had gone down the poop. I should have saved every time I should have got the card key if I thought for one second that I'd soft lock the game this song don't rhyme and it kind of blows that's it it blows and so does my nose Okay, so back to the area. No, please don't make that noise. Please stop it. Stop it. Stop making that specific noise. Thank you.
Also, id Software really like key cards as well. They really like the idea of key cards because I'm pretty sure they are in Doom as well. Okay. Okay, in here, which I'm guessing will be where... Ooh. Oh, yes, thanks. So, it's good to know that if I were to die, I'd at least get a ton of uh, free ammunition. Question is, how much do I want to expend of this to get extra keens? Doom is a key card. Perhaps. And I still plan on streaming that at some point, but I think I'll stick to my original plan of... Like, I'll pro Okay, so I'll probably go through at least a couple of the Keen games. I don't trust this passage. Um, then I'll probably do Wolfenstein, and then Doom. But the idea of streaming some Doom does excite me. Wanna get wanna get doomy. I'm not like see, I'm not usually crazy about first person shooters. Like I mean not like oh they're they're bad, they're very bad. You know, but like I don't know, they just don't they just don't tickle my fancy most of the time. But I I do like old FPSs like Doom and Wolfenstein. I guess because they're a bit more dungeon crawlery. Can crawl the dungeons. So yes, I, I I like I like what I have played of Doom quite a bit. And yes, this is indeed. I'm sure everyone in this chat knows this, but this is indeed the same company that would go on to make Doom. So just uh, keep that in mind as you're looking at this. Okay. Oh, I don't like the situation that has been engineered. Oh, I managed to save it. I mean, what's even crazier, though? The people who made Jazz Jackrabbit went on to make Fortnite. Oh, oh. No, no, sir. I don't like that. I mean, I don't know. That's just weird to me. It's just hard to to look at, you know, a game like Jazz and then look at Fortnite and think, yeah, these are these are the same exact like people probably, or at least the same company. Again, I don't trust this passage. After there there was one in here before. I do not trust it. So this is just like the maze level, I guess. Never trust a burrito. Or like a bean burrito, I shall return. Yep. Gotta get all the keys. Yeah, they the tunnels do kind of look like low low color Yoshi's Island sprites. Okay, so we're gonna have to navigate the maze find the rest of these keys. Wish I could, like, farm more, uh, ammunition. Almost to an extra keen. Okay, so there's nothing of particular worth down this way. Oh, uh, okay. I don't like Commander Keen enemy's ability to just decide to turn around. I mean, it makes sense, but... I don't like it. I expect my video games to be video games. When I play the keen, I get lost in a phase.
Super Mario RPG stream win. I mean, I want to do it at some point. At some point, but like, you just gotta wait till I get my setup hooked back up. Because, like I said, I'm moving stuff across the room. And the problem with that is that I, I want to move that big CRT. Like, I don't, it's not visible on the webcam, but there's like a big old CRT over here, and I want to move it somewhere else. But <laughs> my family is being very particular about where I move it to. So I'm having to wait until we find somewhere to put it. I'm lost. I I'm lost in the maze. I'm lost in the sauce. I mean, at least collecting the Pepsis gives you a better idea of where you haven't been yet. Okay, so down there is a place that I feel like I really don't need to go. Yeah, down there- oh! Oh, come on. I gotta do all that again. God, I hate you all. Okay, well, we're doing that again. Okay, there's just like little man here, little man Jenkins. He's just chilling out. But if it makes you feel any better, I think we're I think we're close to the climax of Keen. Not not like that. He's he's like eight, you sicko. The FBI is on their way as I speak. I'm, I'm going to trust the burrito. I shouldn't trust the burrito, but I'm going to do it. Because I, I just don't have the ammunition to spare. At least I can get some sodi pop. Only there was some way to like get ray gun combos. Like like if like if it went through enemies and could get other enemies. That would add like a good bit of strategy to this game where you're like trying to figure out how to get enemies on top of each other. So that you can uh get take them out with one shot. Like see this guy? Like, he won't stop turning around. No. I'm just I'm just not comfortable with you, sir. He must be dealt with swiftly and with extreme prejudice. Yeah, see, this, that place, I just don't like. I'm not gonna go over there right now. <laughs> like I said, when you got, when you got no music, your sound effects have to tell the whole story. Okay, so I don't like anything about what I'm seeing here. Yeah, I knew there was going to be a guy in here. There's probably going to be another one. Yep. Third one? No. 
Okay, so I gotta get up there at some point, like above this passage. How do you get there? I don't know. It's from a different path, but I know there's something down here. So what you probably want to do is like... <laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs> If you say so. Gotta get the booze. I mean, I'm talking about the FBI coming, but Keen himself is engaging in some quite illegal activity. Eight-year-olds should not be in possession of booze. I'm telling you, it just ain't right. Okay, can I, like, can this guy, like, be dealt with? Yeah, get him, get him out of here. I just, I need to deal with as many of these guys as humanely possible. I don't like living in a world where they exist. Get out of here. Become become stunned forever. Become pseudo killed. He's only mostly dead. Okay, I don't I don't like this guy or anything he stands for. I'm just gonna take care of him. I'm sorry, I can't help but check for score progress. I like points. I want to have all of them. You see? That is the sound of victory. Also, uh, possibly tinnitus. Landing on my face. And if you've known me, you know that I don't enjoy bugs being on my face. Okay, we finally made it back to the accursed zone. So let's uh let's see if I can get him through this. Okay. Okay, I, d I don't like at all what I'm seeing here. Um, okay, I feel like I'm missing something. Because I can almost promise you that that will kill me. Well, I'm, I'm stuck, so... Oh, no, it doesn't. It merely freezes Keen. Okay, so it's it's a puzzle, is it? Is this a teleporter? 
Yep, it sure is. Oh. So I'm probably gonna have to do that level yet again, aren't I? Oh boy. But at least, at least this time it's not because I died and it's because I found some variant of secret exit. Okay, so it's good to know that those cannons I were I was afraid of for like absolutely no reason. I mean, for good reason, but it turns out to have been unfounded. Well, at least here I can hopefully earn some keenage. The mean keen machine. Oh, there's mega points over there. Teddy bears galore. And I would like that. Okay, so there's some dangerous boys here, but we know that once we re-enter the level, we're gonna get... We're gonna get, like, you know, some, uh, restore. Some ammo restore. Okay, so that's not a path. Okay, so let me see here. There's a... Yeah, see? That pit... The pit on the far left has a guy in it. So I need to be careful if I opt to fall down it. That pit, however, is completely safe. I don't know if... That guy leads to, uh... I think that guy leads to the exit. I don't know. Should I go to the exit yet? There might be more points to attain here. How? How do you get this? How do you get this? Keen, uh, Keen cannot duck. Reminder. Maybe there's like a false floor or something. This game has had a, a couple of those. Okay, now it's, it's the journey back that, that frightens me. Okay. Woo. Okay, the, the death phalanges. That's not, that's not what phalanges are, but that's what I've opted to call them. Oh, I'm falling. I wish to get back up. Okay, there's absolutely no reason I want to be down here. But yeah, earn some extra canes, you know. You know how it is. Mm, yep, there we go. <laughs> but there's so many teddy bears. Okay, so this is just a tough jump corner. But if you can make the jumps, you get teddy bears. I'm gonna just try and see if I can get this. I mean, there's no time limit. It's very hard with Keen's physics, though. Oof. Oof. That's all I gotta say about that, let me tell you. Mm. 
I, I just don't know if it can be done. No! Yeah, I guess the pogo is probably your best bet. I'm not going to try for too long, but I would like to give it at least a little bit of a shot. Yeah, shot in my back. Because I need the shot for the pain. Like, where's Keen's hitbox on this? Yeah, I don't know. I'll be here. If I try to get that, I'll be here for hours. I'll be... I'll fall for hours. Well, it felt like I was... get up there uh you can get teddy bears but good luck good freaking luck wait i might have a strategy i probably don't have a strategy you just have to like you have to tickle the edge of the block with the pogo stick. You just have to, like, caress it gently. Had like a chain go in there, but it didn't last. God, yeah, you need you need speedrunner levels of precision. You need you need to become God. <laughs> You need finesse. Okay, give me up. Give me back up. I'm I'm gonna head I'm gonna head for the exit. Let me let me be. Let me free. No! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to be so dramatic. It's warm. It's warm in here. I blame the heat. I've never even been to drama class. I can't do it. It's like the book was telling me you can't do it. Oh, holy crap. Yeah, that's that's worth that's worth a lot. He followed me out the door. 
Okay, well, now we know not to go that way. <laughs> Good use of my newfound keens. Probably should have saved before I came in here. Oh, well, let's... Let's get through the maze yet again. And this time, let's go to, let's go to the left. Go to the left of the maze when we fall down. I have to get the pep. You know that it's like, like it's Pepsi, but they have it at that angle so that you can blah that you so that you can't like read it. So it's like, you know, Pepsi goes to sue them, and they're like, you, you can't prove that, that that says Pepsi. It says, uh, poot. It's like poot soda. Id Software is innocent of all crime. You have to hear the falling sound effect 800 times per second. There we go, there's yet another keen for me. I don't know if it's capped at the number you can see there, or if you can earn more past that. I don't know. I really could not even tell you. Alright, get the yellow key card. Throw, throw Keen down the hall. Okay, so it's super scary, but it's not too hard once you know that it's coming. Which, honestly, is probably like the worst kind of difficulty. But what can you do? Okay, don't fall in the water. Keen can't swim. Probably. No, actually, never mind. That's that's canon. Uh, and it's uh, it's for points. There was no progress of any kind to be found down here. Well, good to know, I suppose. Good to know that I wasted my life. I'm wasting away. This was where the guns were. It prop those signs probably say have a gun. Take a free gun. It's on me. Okay, there's the blue one over there to the right. Did I go over there? Oh well. Well we fell and we can't get back back up. That's just the nature of our existence now. I feel like I have spent half of the game on this level. Okay, there's lots of Pepsi Colas up here. Anything uh, helpful to my progress? Oop. Yeah, get get out. Get out of here. My Twitch chat on restream is broken. Um uh like let me see. Let me see if restarting the chat instance will fix it.
I don't know. Send some stuff in Twitch chat. See if it works. Send, uh, but, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool now. We're all good. So it says I will need a ray gun for the final level. I don't know if it means just one shot. Probably. Game's weird like that. Like I said, maybe wasteful. I do not want to have to deal with this man. I'm tired of your crap. Okay, I probably want to go down here, honestly. No, wait, I've been down here. I've already been here. been here though. I don't know where anything is. Just gotta collect the sodas to mark my path to see where I have been. Yeah, like, see, I, I think I just did it. Like, like I jumped midair. It's very difficult to do that, though. Okay, this is not a path. Oh boy, this is... This is something. The maze that pays, that plays for days. Oh, nope, that's back that way. Oh, good maze level. You did it. You did it, id software. You made a video game. I was genuinely terrified of having to do the level again. Like honest, honest to God, terrified. I saw my, I saw my life flash before my eyes. Okay, so we have two out of four key cards. You may have heard that since I'm using a desktop audio. That was my RSS client. It, it wanted to pop in and say hello. Okay, so we need to get down there. I know there's one down there. And also, I haven't gone over there yet, because I, I do not know how. Oh, I guess you go this way. Oh yeah, I've been here. I've been to this neck of the woods before. I mean, not in this run, but I have done it. And 
And see, I just don't like that entire setup right there. There's literally no way for me to kill him. Not anymore. Okay, so I haven't been there yet. The maze, the maze, the maze. Hooked on a maze. Trapped in a maze. This is, this is mind-numbing. This is a mind-numbing level. Oh wait, that's, that's the spot where I didn't get the, the cola. Oh, here we go. Here's something. But I'm still missing one. I'm missing the blue one. There's no map! Missing the blue. Pardon me. I burped just now because I'm missing the blue. Well, time to scour the everything and look for it. A note to self do not jump that from the left side. I will fall down and I will die. Oh, there it is. There we go. Now let us let us leave this accursed place. This is not the way. That's the dangerous way. Okay, now I need to try and see if there's a way past this guy that does not involve me jumping him. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. I'm, stu I'm stupid. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm a bit of a dummy, dumb head. Don't worry about it. And I got ten charges. That should last me. Okay then, so I think there's just this place up here that I kept dying to before. Yeah, because of that jump or something. And then we have the palace down below. We still do not have the booze. I assume that's what we'll get from the bottom place. I mean, at least I'm good on Keens now. Okay, so uh, this jump's tricky. You gotta do it just so. Gonna take the cans though, just in just in case. I mean, I'm probably not gonna earn anything. A voice buzzes in your mind. There is a hidden city. Look in the dark area to the city of the south. Okay, so the city to the south. Does it mean this? Oh, oh, I found that. I found that already. 
Oh, no, there's this. Not even a gonna bother with the icicle power-ups. Okay, so I need the blue. I need the blue to get in. I know I got the blue. I don't need the blue, I got the blue. <laughs> At least I got more keen. Nope. Eh, eh, ain't happening. Didn't happen. That one was invented by a writer. Okay, the box are very subtly different. Oh, yes, you're, you're right, they are. Also, they're only fake from one side. Let's ride the ice. Okay, now, did we see the red one yet? That's the green one. Okay, no. So come back here when I have green. Oh, I just shot that guy out of... Just shot that guy out of reflex, really. Give me, give me the pizza. Wish I had some pizza in real life. Maybe then I would have the strength required to make it through Commander Keen. Okay, so you can go back, you can go back that way. I can go back that way now. Yeah, green. Okay, get the yellow. And now, I guess, advance. Advance through the realms. Let me through. Let me through. You beasts. You beasts of nature. Okay, that's a fake one right there. There's a, a robot. Oh, a little robot guy. I don't think you can, can't stun the robot. Okay, you can stand on the robot. That is good to know. Okay, when are you going to pull the rug out from under me? Okay, um... How about no? How about no? Oh, you got to. Because I don't... I don't think King Keen can make this jump. Dang it! Okay, I'm still good on charges. Okay. Pray for me. It's actually not as bad as I've made it out to be. Ooh. It almost was, though. You cannot kill the Vorticon commander directly.
Okay, let's save to six. Okay, last level, I think. Yeah, this has this has a sort of this has a sort of you know finality to it. Big old staircase. Okay, there's a key card. Blue key card. <laughs> the jumps. The jumps. Okay, this this is just for soda, but that's okay. Okay, got it. Okay, what what mysteries await us now? Well, besides dealing with this. Now, correct me if I'm mistaken, but I could probably like Is that is that the commander? Oh, I'm out of charges. That's uh not good. May have to Oh, but there's the booze. Well when I understand what the heck I'm doing, I'll let you know. Okay, so the robots are not capable of hurting you directly. You you have to get hit by their laser. That's good that's good information to have on what is probably the last level of the game. What happens if you go down here? Uh not a lot. There's uh, these guys guarding some teddy bears that I have no means to actually get. Oh, there's death. There's some death down there. You know what, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to reload my save. I'm going to, going to reload with, with where I still have my charges. Just to be safe. But okay, if I can't, if I can't attack the Vorticon directly, then the question becomes, what do I do? Hello, uh, Sibert? Cybert? I don't know, I'll try to pronounce online names, but I promise. I promise nothing. What system do I play at? Oh, and these guys are completely harmless. It, it turns out, turns out my fear of these men were unfounded. So, what what do you mean? What system do I play at? You're gonna have to elaborate. Okay, so that takes you over here. Yeah, so that guy won't hurt you, he'll just push you away. Okay, so what's what's the trick with these guys? I'm I am not entirely sure how I am to get past this man. Oh 
Now I do. Holy crap. Commander Keen returns to the bean with bacon mega rocket and quickly replaces the missing parts. He must get home before his parents do. There he goes. <laughs> you just drop a weight on him. Huh? <gasps> Keen makes it home and rushes to beat his parents upstairs. Let's see if little Billy is asleep. Billy? Are you a... What is this one-eyed green thing in your room? Aw, oh, Mom, can I keep him? Well, we'll talk about that in the morning, son. You get some rest. Okay, Mom, good night. Good night, dear. Pet alien is what all the kids want. But there is no sleep for Commander Keen. The Vorticon mothership looms above, ready to destroy Earth. To be continued. Oh, <laughs> I accidentally skipped that, but I think it's just like, hey, by the second episode. All right, so that's that's our final score. All right, thank you. Thank you for showing up, everybody. Uh, that's going to be that's going to be it for me right right now. As soon as I check something really quick. As soon as I redock the chat, you know you can have like tabs in like OBS docs. I didn't know that till just now. I don't know if I can. Ooh, I didn't mean to capture my web browser. I don't think OBS can capture itself. Let's see. Uh, display capture. See if that were. Oh, that's still. It's still a website. Yeah, here we go. Okay, check it out. Check it out. There's tabs. I didn't know you could do that. It's it's very useful for me because I'm just going to make uh, the titles like a tab. So I don't have to open up my browser to it every single time. So, uh, I was basically just trying to see if this Twitch signature thing I have works. And apparently it doesn't. I just want a little, I just want a little image that says that I am live. That's all I ask. That's all I ask for, truly. Oh, well, see you later.